Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. It is breaking news. Israel National News is reporting an article today about a decision by the United States Supreme Court that is agreeing with President Barack Obama about Jerusalem not being part of Israel. That is a major news that is coming out. I want to share this article with you. Uh, we have been reporting now for some time that they are internationalizing Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not going to be part of Israel. I have showed you, and again, right here, you can see for yourself pictures of a border crossing being made in on Highway 1 coming up through the mountains there up from Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion Airport up into Jerusalem. We have clearly stated on Israel, Israel Nash, excuse me, Israeli News Live here that it is being internationalized, the city. They are going to take it away from the Jews. The Jewish people, let me say this to my Jewish friends in Israel, your city is being taken from you. It is obvious the lines have already been drawn. This is not anything new. This is something that is old. You're just seeing the formalities played out. This is one reason why you see the huge uh, tra uh, train rail also, which you can see the photos of the, this here, which you guys have known that they've been building a, uh, a transit rail bringing a train up into Jerusalem. It's got two different tracks uh, going in and out of the city there. But the checkpoints, the very checkpoints, these tunnel things are not going under a mountain as you can clearly see in the photos. These, this checkpoint is being constructed so that you are going to have to use a passport to enter into Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not going to be a part of Israel. This has been decided on. The Vatican has pushed it. Shimon Perez pushed it with the Vatican uh, because the Vatican wanted this to start with. It wasn't that Israel wanted it. The Vatican wanted it. This is why certain families that, that were pushing for power back in 1948, it was a plot from the very beginning. This is why Britain uh, also was part of the plot when Israel was being formed as a nation, why they limited the number of new immigrants that could come in annually because why? They had to have certain families in power, families that were Jewish families that were loyal to Rome in order to do the infrastructure of the country itself. Once the Jews came in after the Holocaust, they came in faster, some illegally, but they finally got in, they became citizens, and of course it slowed the process down for Rome. Rome didn't get to get a hold of Jerusalem as fast as they wanted. But since the uh, accord back in 1993, when Shimon Peres, then Prime Minister, began to work out uh, the Oslo Accords, and it was really all about the Vatican and, and Israel working out an agreement in order for the Vatican to get control of Jerusalem. It is happening. We can see the official word happening right now. You think that we've been kidding about this. Maybe some people have not taken it seriously. Uh, it seems like we were the only news agency that has actually done it. You don't hear about it by CNN. Fox doesn't have the guts to report it. Uh, Newsmax, none of them have the guts to report that Jerusalem has been divided away from the Israel Israelis already. You don't, you don't divide, you don't uh, build a checkpoint and then divide the land afterwards. You build a checkpoint based on the fact you've already have divided the land. And I'm sorry for my Jewish brothers and sisters. Micah chapter 4 says, you will go out of the city and you will dwell in the fields. And unfortunately, that's exactly going to happen. Let me read to you the article that, that came out. It was shared with me by a friend of ours on, on Facebook because uh, we're on a little small little vacation right now uh, trying to recuperate some uh, after the uh, conference with uh, uh, Pastor Begley and his wife and uh, blessing that was. Anyway, it says here on U.S. Supreme Court backs Obama on Jerusalem passport. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court Monday sided with U.S. President Barack Obama and criticized Congress for overstepping its bounds when it tried to press Obama to have uh, Menachem uh, Benjamin uh, Zvaski uh, passport lists Jerusalem, Israel as his place of birth. In a case uh, Israel regarding the city's status as Israelis, Israel, Israel's capital. By a 63 majority, the Supreme Court struck down a law from 2002 which requires the U.S. State Department to recognize Jerusalem as part of Israel. Reports, this was reported originally by National Journal. 
both the administrations of Obama and George W. Bush refused to implement the law. The eastern part of the 3,000-year-old capital of the Jewish state was liberated in 1967 Six-Day War. As it stands currently, a child born in Jerusalem has journal, uh, Jerusalem listed on their U.S. passport without a country. Official U.S. policy has not been recognized any sovereignty on either side over Jerusalem ever since the Truman administration. Uh, in the ruling Chief Justice John Roberts objected and opposed the six judges who incidentally included all three Jewish members of the Supreme Court. Shame on all three of those Jewish judges. It shows that they are sold out to Rome just like uh, Shimon Peres and even Prime Minister Netanyahu has also sold out to Rome and that is deplorable in the first place. And it, it, it just concerns me. No wonder why they say that he is, uh, uh, many people say that Netanyahu is a Christian and I have actually heard some credible evidence to support that but I am beginning to wonder what side of the fence does he belong on. It clearly seems that he is siding with Rome and that concerns me greatly. Uh, but anyway we continue on. In, uh, in the ruling Chief Justice John Roberts objected. God bless John Roberts for objecting. Uh, today's decision is a first. Never before has this court accepted a president's direct defiance of an act of Congress in the field of foreign affairs, said Roberts. The U.S. government claimed in brief to the Supreme Court to recognize that Jerusalem as a part of Israel would critically compromise the ability of the United States to work with Israelis, Palestinians, and others in the region to further the peace process, clearly indicating a desire to leave open uh, to leave open uh, excuse me, to leave open the option to divide Jerusalem and, and create an Arab capital as the U.S. has indeed pressed for. Uh, it's, it's done, friends. It is done. I mean, I don't care how much they pretend here in this article not to tell you. It's done. And, I, and the thing is, we're going to share this video, and I ask you to share it everywhere you possibly can. Share it with Israel National News. Go to this article and share this video there. Share it with CNN. Post it on every major news site. Israel was divided long ago. They have built the checkpoint. They're finishing it up now, and it's going to be, Jerusalem will be almost kind of like Washington, D.C., maybe even a country within itself. They say they're going to give the Palestinians a capital there. They may give the outskirts, but clearly it is not under Israeli control. Even according to one of the guides there at the Temple Institute, he said Jerusalem is not under Israeli control. I know that. We believe that. We see it from the evidence, and journalists need to report on it. You're watching everything. You're seeing all the infrastructure being built for Jerusalem to be uh, totally taken away from the Jewish people, and nobody seems to have the guts to report on it. What is it? Is CNN owned by the government, just like Vladimir Putin owns all of the media in his country? Is, is Fox News owned by the government? Newsmax? I'm ashamed that Newsmax has not reported this. Uh, especially the Steve Mulberg show, who stands with Israel. Report it! Mr. Mulberg, stand up for Israel and report they have divided the land. They're not telling the people, and it is deplorable. It is a biblical insult to God himself, a slap in the face of God himself, to allow the Pope of Rome to come there and, and first defile the tomb of David by allowing the Pope of Rome to have communion, not only in the upper room, which I could I could probably live with that because that is a Christian site there. But the fact that they go into the tomb of David and throw the Jews out forcibly and have a communion in the tomb of David. Of course, uh, Israel, the government there, gave an official seat to the Pope of Rome at the tomb of David back when Pope Benedict was there as well, which only goes to show that what? They have an uh, official seat there declaring them that the Pope of Rome is the King of Israel because it's at David's tomb. That would be the King of Israel. But in this case, it represents that he's a dead king as well. Let me go on to continue in the article. Immigration Absorption Minister Zeev Elkin of the Likud reacted to the decision, noting that Jerusalem is the capital of the Jewish state and will remain that for eternity. I wished he was right, but Mr. Zeev, why are you building a checkpoint then on Highway 1 coming in? What need is that for? 
It goes on to say, um, Elkin, whose pro, uh, uh, portfolio includes Jerusalem, called on the U.S. administration to accept the simple fact that it uh, that is a fundamental of the Jewish heritage and uh, incidentally of Christian heritage as well. Jerusalem is the heart of the land of Israel and the eternal capital of the state of Israel. Also responding to the decision was Deputy uh, Defense Minister uh, Rabbi Eli Ben uh, Don, the Jewish home who lives in southeastern Jerusalem, neighborhood of Karhoma. United uh, Jerusalem is, as they say here, uh, eternal capital of the Jewish people and the center of the world, asserted Ben Don. Uh, this is how it was and how it will be. The Obama administration should express a clear position that Jerusalem is the capital of the state of Israel, especially in a period in which movements that negate the existence of the state are raising the heads, uh, he added. Yeah, clearly, I mean, my brothers, do you not remember what Psalm 83 says? They are confederate against us. We even ask before God, be thou not silent, O God. But we see no response in Psalm 83. And it's Esau. And Esau, according to Obadiah, is Rome's. God attributes the destruction of the city and the sanctuary to the Titus general and calls him Esau, or Edom, the Edomites. Esau, the brother of Israel. And of cl uh, cl clearly, that is the Romans who come in and do this. So it is Esau, it is the Edomites, it is the Vatican itself. According to uh, Daniel 9.26, the prince that shall come, and we're dealing with a false prince that, is, that shall come, that's here now, that would be of the people who do what? It's of the people who destroy the temple and the sanctuary. Wake up, my Jewish brothers and sisters, before it's too late. And I, unfortunately, it is biblical prophecy that the land will be divided according to Joel's prophecy. It is clear that it's going to be divided. It has been divided. And now the evidence is leaking out that it has been. 136 nations have voted to make the, uh, a Palestinian state. The handwriting is on the wall. I'm Stephen Benoon, and I am sorry to report such wicked and evil news in a day like today. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for the people of Israel. Christian friends and brothers around the world, pray for your brothers and sisters. You are just like, you are like Esther. See, you need, you were raised up as a time, for a time such as this. You are the spiritual Israel. The, the spiritual Jews of today are the Esthers that though you have been summoned and married to the king, now you've come in for a time such as this. And if you remain silent, God will raise up deliverance for Israel from somewhere else. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.